Hello everybody. So you would remember the young Gila monster that I got about what three weeks ago now? She was very defensive when we first got her, obviously due to the fact that she was raised in a plastic tub with no human interaction. After three weeks of living in a large glass enclosure with uh, almost daily interaction, this is where we are. Hello, little one. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? As you guys can see, I picked her up from under her head, basically. And she has no reaction at all. And I'm holding her in a somewhat restrictive manner. And she has no reaction to that as well. She's in shed now. This is why her colors are not as good as they normally are. Uh, and she also managed to eat a small mouse. But she is absolutely great. Fortunately, this one had super long nails when I first got her. And she lost a couple of those. I hope they will grow back in. And I uh, shortened the other ones. Again, living in a tub with nothing to get those nails rubbed into, except for plastic. Her nails were really long. Now she has a stone in her enclosure and it's getting better. For those of you who don't know or who are new to the channel, this is a banded Gila monster. It is a venomous lizard and it should not be handled so lightly, to be honest. I'm doing this because I've been doing this for a while and the animal knows me now. But if you look at the earlier videos, you would see how defensive she was to start with. But now she is absolutely perfect. There's no problem with interacting with me. It's amazing what can happen with these animals in just about three weeks of time. Gila monsters are uh, from Heloderma genus, Heloderma suspectum, Cinctum for this subspecies. They live in southwestern United States in the arid regions of the country. They spend most of their times in barrows in the nature. They come out when it rains. They eat uh, large prey for their size. And they also eat eggs sometimes. And they, after eating one large prey, they would usually not need to eat anything for months. It's a desert adaptation. They are uh, quite evolved lizards. They have a forked tongue like a snake. Uh, they are very smart. They are truly venomous with uh, venom being produced from the glands in their jaws. And uh, when they bite, they chew and then venom goes into the uh, wound. And it is quite effective, it reduces blood pressure and quickly incapacitates the prey. This little one is the one who was one of the two I have. And as I said, if you look at the older videos and the photos, she was 
very defensive when she got in two. Uh, her enclosure for the first time in my place. But now, as you can see, she's easily manipulatable, if that's a word. And absolutely no gaping. Very rare sudden movements can scare her. But I can grab hold of her like this. I can, you know, move her around and she is absolutely okay with all of those. Great lizards to work with. Very smart animals. After large monitor lizards, large varanids like Komodo dragons or water monitors or crocodile monitors, the species of lizard and they are close cousins in um, Mexico, are my favorites in the lizard world. Alright, hope you guys liked it. Just wanted to show you her progress and I will get you more videos later on. Bye.